two different terms. The terms are bioavailability. Now, understand this one. Bio means living organ. Availability means how much is available. Bioavailability is related to drug absorption. The rate and extent. The rate and extent of the drug that is absorbed into systemic circulation is known as bioavailability. Understand this one. Rate and extent. Extent means how much drug is getting absorbed. If you take 500 mg paracetamol, is that 500 mg is completely getting into systemic circulation or not is known as extent. Rate means how much time it is taking. If you take 500 mg paracetamol, at what rate it is getting absorbed? Is it getting absorbed in 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour? This thing is called as rate. So this thing, rate and extent of absorption of drug into systemic circulation is known as bioavailability. Bioavailability is very important concept. So when people come up with a drug, they will look for bioavailability. You come up with a wonderful drug, if it doesn't has got good bioavailability, it is of no use. If it is not getting absorbed, what is the point of making the drug? So bioavailability is an important parameter to determine the kinetics. It, it says rate and extent of drug absorbed into systemic circulation. Let me tell you briefly about systemic circulation. We keep listening about this systemic circulation. Now understand this one. See, blood circulation has got two different parts. One is called as pulmonary circulation, and the one is systemic circulation. Understand this thing. See, you have heart is there. Now, see, to this heart, deoxygenated blood reaches. Deoxygenated blood. See, oxygenated blood will be utilized in all the cells and tissues. All the cells and tissues will take up that oxygen and nutrients. What is left over? Deoxygenated blood. Deoxygenated blood from the veins, it reaches to heart. Now, from the heart, this deoxygenated blood reaches to lungs. Why it is going to lungs? Because oxygenation gas exchange occurs in lungs. In the lungs, the deoxygenated blood will get oxygen and it becomes oxygenated blood. Again, the lungs will send the oxygenated blood to heart. From the heart, again, it is going to all the cells and tissues. So when you see heart has, has got two things. There is certain circulation which is going to lungs and coming from the lungs. The other thing is in only for remaining part. So this part is known as pulmonary circulation. Pulmona, pulmonary means lungs. The blood which is going to lungs, the blood which is coming out of the lungs. This part is known as pulmonary circulation. This part is known as systemic circulation. See, we keep listening to this word systemic circulation. All the drugs need to get into systemic circulation. The reason why we are avoiding pulmonary is, pulmonary means going to lungs. Drugs do not need to go lungs. Only when you inhale the drugs or give it to the lungs, then only they will go to the lungs. Whatever the drug you take, through oral cavity or through the intravenous one, it should get into systemic circulation. One more thing. You know, most of the parental drugs, we take in IV form, intravenous form. Some of the drugs will be taken in intramuscular form. But majority drugs are intravenous form, not intra-arterial or some other things. The reason is, veins will carry the blood into heart. You take a drug here, into the venous circulation, the drug reaches heart. What happens from the heart? From the heart, it is delivered to the, all the organs of the body. So if you want to have a very good distribution, drugs will be given in intra, to intravenous. When you give it to the veins, it goes to the heart. From the heart, it goes to the entire body. Arteries are not like that. Arteries are very specific arteries. That means renal artery provides blood circulation to only to renal tissue. So that is selectively reaching renal tissue. But if you give intravenous one, it goes to every tissue of the body. That is the reason why the major administration of is IV or intravenous. So these are all the things which we see in absorption. You need to understand what is required to get absor absorption, what all the pathways are there, it is getting absorbed, and the terms like bioavailable. One more thing is there in absorption. There is a process called as first pass effect. Now understand this thing. Some drugs, when they are taken through the oral cavity, they get into the stomach. From the stomach, from the blood circulation, they will reach portal circulation. Portal circulation means the blood is taken to the liver. After liver, it gets into systemic circulation. 
what is the problem with this? What happens in liver, in the liver metabolism takes place? So if the drug before reaching systemic circulation, if it is getting into the liver, it undergoes metabolism. So the active form of the drug will get reduced. Only small fraction of the active drug will be given to systemic circulation. So there is a loss of active drug. That is called as first pass effect. First, they will pass through the portal circulation and that reduces the amount of active drug. This is called as first pass effect. First pass effect is there with a lot of drugs. You know, ethanol, the alcohol. Ethanol has got very good amount of first pass effect. Not only this, you have diazepam. Diazepam is a benzodiazepine, morphine, opioid. All of them, all of them will show this first pass effect. Initially, they will reach to the liver. In the liver, certain amount of the drug will undergo metabolism. After that, the remaining fraction reaches to systemic circulation. So this effectively reduces the amount of active drug which is getting into systemic circulation. So first pass effect, bioavailability. Both of them need to be considered. Coming back to the formulations, when you take intravenous drug, you will be directly injecting the drug into veins or blood circulation. That is nothing but systemic circulation. So whatever the drug you inject, completely the rate and extent completely gets into your blood circulation. So that is the reason why for intravenous drugs, 100% bioavailable drugs are there. So in injection form, when you give the drug to directly blood circulation, they will have 100% bioavailable. What is bioavailability? Rate and extent of drug that reaches to systemic circulation. So you are giving the complete drug into systemic circulation, so they will have 100% bioavailability. Second one, intravenous intra-artery drug, because you are directly injecting the drug to the blood, you don't see this absorption phenomena with them. Absorption comes with oral drugs. You take tablet, you take capsule, you take liquid orals, they need to get absorbed into the systemic circulation. Whereas intravenous, you are directly pumping the drug into the circulation, so you don't see all these absorption parameters with intravenous. So intravenous drugs, 100% bioavailable, they do not need this absorption. So absorption, remember these things. What are the factors that is 